today we're talking about some of the common causes of lower back pain. So take it away, Dr. Brandon. Uh, lower back pain is uh, the Pandora's box of injuries and situations. So, because there are going to be so many different things going on. So, is it uh, core strength imbalance? Uh, so, ultimately, a weakness or strength to one side or the other. Um, is it excess lifting um, or lifting twisting motion creating disc injury or muscular injury irritating those nerves? Or is it just sitting down and not having the proper mobility throughout the day too? So getting the movement throughout those joints in the lower back as well as the hips. So Yeah, so what we know about the lower back and the discs is that movement is life. So if the discs, the discs get their nutrition from movement, they lack actual blood supply, which is when, when, they, when there is a lower back injury, it sometimes can take a little while to fix. That's because it lacks, it lacks blood supply. And the only way that it does get nourished is by a fancy term called imbibition, which means the transfer of fluids. Um, and as I said, the only way that it gets, gets nourished, the discs in the lower back, is by movement. So a chiropractic adjustment is changing the nerve pathways and allowing movement on a, a small level. And then our instructions around lower back pain are always going to be uh, stay active, stay moving, um, keep the body nourished through exercise, stretching, and strengthening. Yep. So, uh, and then looking at that whole chain of things too, from down the legs into that lower back, how is that all moving together? Is that adding more pressure in that lower back, less pressure, and yeah, that, that pretty much core stability strength too, so. Yeah, I think a common question that I get um, is, um, is, 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 is my leg longer than the other? Is one leg longer than the other? So. I think I'll hand that over to Dr. Brandon to dis discuss with people today. Uh, generally, in an anatomical sense, uh, there really isn't much of a difference between one leg and the other, but how you're sitting throughout the day and how you're moving throughout the day is going to influence how that uh, lower back and that pelvis sits. Mm -hmm. So if there's going to be an imbalance one side or the other, yeah, it's going to be changing up how those legs move, especially when you're in a more relaxed laying down position. So I think it's bullshit that people say that to, to people that if you've got one leg longer than the other, um, it's not true. I think that the body is, is perfectly imperfect. So we don't have perfect symmetry in the body. If you look at one side of your face versus the other side of your face, there are beautiful differences on either side of your body. So I think the, the human body is absolutely uh, adaptable to different stresses and I think that um, it's a really old way to describe dysfunction of the lower back that there is one leg longer than the other. So I um, would tend to disagree with that concept, which is, is quite prevalent um, in chiropractic, to be honest. Um, what else do people ask us about lower back pain? Uh, proper lifting, sitting, yeah. uh, the, the posture sense of things always. So mm. um, make sure that you're yeah, getting up and moving again the, every 25 minutes get up, move around for five minutes, uh, do some star jumps, do some lower back movements around. So uh, Yeah, so our takeaway message is definitely movement is the key for lower back pain. Trying to keep things balanced and moving is really important. And as clinicians, we're going to be looking at um, specifically how you're moving and to improve uh, the, the proprioception or the, your awareness of how you're moving. Um, so oftentimes people will say that their glutes are weak, but in, uh, generally your your glutes aren't weak, it's probably just that you've never learnt to fire them correctly or in the correct patterning, which is really important to take that load off that lower back. Um, so anything else that we've got to discuss with our common causes of lower back pain? No, I think that pretty much hit most of it, so. Awesome.